Apparently, the year 2022 will go down in history not only as a year of incredible progress in image generations, language processing and all of that in AI, but also in terms of how scientific AI has advanced. And this is an example of that, something that Meta just dropped, something that can generate literature reviews, wiki articles, lecture notes on any given topic. And it does so for now for free at least and incredibly well. Also, not despite occasional bugs. For instance, let's say, well, this is one of the examples they provide. Say we want a wiki article on multi-head attention. This is what it spits out. And the primary difference between this particular thing and, say, a GPT-3 or any other language model is that it actually cites correct papers. Um, it ju doesn't just hallucinate, as most other language models do, although it does that too, so you gotta be careful, but it actually provides correct references, and even the reference table here, which is just something unprecedented in the AI language models world. Let's take a look at what else it can do. Here in the Explore section, say, uh, this is a very interesting example here, uh, we want the paper that originally stated that E equals MC squared, the famous theory of relativity, I think. And it just spits out this Einstein 1905 paper here, which is kind of the correct answer here. And we can click on that and... Well, it's not that impressive since there were a lot of AIs that could do that as well, or we could just head to, say, Google Scholar and do that ourselves. But here, just below that, there's something a bit more interesting. Uh, say we want to translate a, well, math formula to plain English. We can edit all those boxes, by the way, they are interactive. And we input any formula in LaTeX format. And it spits out the explanation and the, say, translation of the formula to plain English or to Python, to C++, but, well, Someone might say, well, Codex used to do that as well. And yeah, I guess Codex could, but this thing can also find bugs. And I'm not sure how mm, how more useful this is, but seems to be doing pretty well, especially for all the scientifically inclined tasks, let's put it that way. And that's not the only thing that I wanted to share today. Also, this amazing website called Explain Paper, which does basically exactly that. This thing simply explains paper. Let's take a look at how it does that. I'll pull up some paper that I've been taking a look at. Let's, let's say this one. So I upload the paper, click start analyzing. It some, does some processing and say uh, I want to understand some of the terms which I'm not familiar with. Let's uh, Let's find this, for instance, this local maximum selection. I, I simply select it and it spits out the explanation of what this term means. And I can ask it some follow-up questions as well, for instance, give an example of that. And it will just do just fine. I found this thing incredibly useful. It has GPT-3 under the hood, but the fact that it's free, it works so well, well optimized, I just think it's going to be incredibly useful in uh, someone working, in someone having to go through a lot of scientifically involved and com convoluted papers. So I hope you'll find that useful. Uh, that will be all for today, except I want to also show one last thing. Uh, for those of you in the medical or biological field, uh, this illicit AI thing can be of use as well. An example prompt here will say... Uh, impact of creating on cognition, we just select that or input our own prompt and uh, the primary thing is that it spits out the summary of most relevant cited slash I, I don't know what papers so that we don't have to s scroll and skim through the abstracts, other section results so very useful for the medical researchers and other professionals and that'll be all for today. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. The AI is progressing incredibly fast, just what a pace. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. 
to stay up to date if you find videos like this useful. And till next time.